to my channel welcome to a flip through of the world of cross stitching now I actually have two issues here to go through um, I'm trying to actually see which one is the first one um, what I will do is have chapters within these issues and um, I'm looking for it so there's the joys of spring there and oh my goodness there it is March and June okay I think these might be a quarterly magazine so let's look at March first if you are only interested in the June one flip through to the next chapter and check that out all right so the world of cross stitching it is by immediate media I may not have said that on my other flip through but they do tend to have similar stuff to the other magazine that I just did which was cross stitcher magazine um freebie kit that you get with the in real life magazine is read and relax on this one it's an illustrated card you've got your bookshelf and you've got your files your books your cross stitch your kitty cat and your plant it's two in one bookmark and card kit comes with everything okay including I think illustrated card 32 lengths of thread 32 wow uh, 14 count ada color chart and envelope no needle needles came in the cross stitcher magazine mini kits that might slip let's pop that out of the way all right so there is the magazine look at that rooster isn't he awesome I don't know, is it just an English thing that they called him a cockerel? Anyway, um, we've got a map. I do really, really enjoy this magazine. Um, there was one other, I think it was Cross Stitch Gold, and that was my like, oh, all the designs were so amazing. This is done by the same company, so hopefully they are keeping the best of those projects together. Um, this is what you're going to get in this issue. So you've got your card, you've got your cockerel or your rooster, you've got your home note board, you've got cathedrals, you've got cards, birds, you've got a map, and you've got your silhouettes, if you like your silhouettes, Sherlock Holmes. That's going to be really, really cool. You can get this online. Uh, World Across Stitching is online. Download the app at Apple Newsstand, Google Play, Zinio and Amazon Fire. I don't know if it's a PDF that you can use and search or, you know, download into Pattern Keeper or anything else. But give it a go if you're interested. Check it out anyway, at the very least. Um, sorry, I'm just creeping this <laughs> into camera so I don't get the pattern. you got the little mouse. Furry tails. I love furry tails. They're so cute. Um, you got your little mouse nurse. If there is a nurse in your life that you would like to support, you've got those. And if you've missed a chart, it also has the issues. So 303, 302, 301, you've got your different mice from Furry Tales. They're so cool. Again, being a UK company, you get the three different conversions, DMC, Anchor and Madeira. Um, and um, yeah, there is a reader's panel of three people as well mentioned oh my lordy look at this Hannah embroidery kit and the symbol of the month is a bull and it teaches you how to do velvet stitch now if you have a bull in your life whether it's a Chinese um, year of the bull I think they have one or it's um, some kind of um, star astrology symbol that one Pano do those kits really really cool you can buy them online um, there's the uh, exclusive gift how to make it it is so it's showing you the, your colors so you've got three whites two greens two reds three peaches and you've got to sort out your colors yourself not necessarily the easiest thing to do but hopefully there's enough of a difference that you can work it out um take your time in doing that okay they're not giving you sorry they are giving you the colors um 
so you've got your DMC and it's blank. Uh, your lime green is 165 DMC. Your red is 351. So each of those colors you can identify. Hello, sorry about that interruption that I just had. Just had to take a phone call. Got to see my grandson. It's all kind of cool. All right. Sophie got to sit on my lap as well. And um, got to see her nephew. She's three and she's an auntie. All right. Cockerel, rooster. <laughs> With his tail that's all kinds of bedraggled. He's gorgeous. Chickens are so cool. I used to have chickens. Hannah Dale is the designer there. It's approximately 30 hours to do that rooster. It is, it is size, 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 17 and a quarter by 15 inches. So slightly under a um, fat quarter, but bigger than a fat egg. Goes over two pages. Um, sorry, three pages even. All right, Hannah Dale, who do do the coos. Hannah Dale is Rendale Designs, um, who does the hairs and the splatter work, um, back stitching. You've got the flamingos and the peacocks and the characters of the animals. Um, so Bothy Threads, Rendale Collection. They're gorgeous. If you get an opportunity, please go check them out. Um, I'm sure you will fall in love with them. Uh, Star Letter this month wins three kits worth 47 pounds let me show you there are these gorgeous little dragons down here in the blue kind of theme they're so cute <coughs> they, they are from jenny haynes from gold leaf needlework dylan and co story time and flying close up from gold needlework .co .uk. and if you are interested in those some other different touches, um, some more First Kiss by Hannah Dale of Rendell Designs there, the giraffes. Um, somebody has stitched the girl with the stitched earring in cross stitch. And then you've got the robin and the kingfisher, again from Rendale. Uh, needle and thread fine art. So you've got your red stitching. Here, so your kind of sampler kind of stuff. The Milner, the seamstress, and the lace maker. If you have any friends who are into all of those, there's lace showing the lace bobbins and lace work and um, things like that. When you wish upon a star kit, got bookmarks. Give us a hug. These huggers that keep your fabric tidied up. I was actually wishing I had one of those or a few of those. I think I might. Maybe I'll have to go through my. Um, sassy collection. Uh, Peter Underhill reader offer the golden years. All right, you've got some flowers. If you like your flowers, you've got your pansy, your daisy, forget me nots, and oh, I don't know. Let's see if it uh, says anything. Steering Jones. Um, not saying what the blooms are there. Stained glass effect though. Uh, not picking what those flowers are, sorry. And there's some sunflowers in the Ask the Experts lighthouse. Baby jungle animals there. One of the designs that have come up. Somebody's done a dartboard. Somebody has asked for a dartboard to be created and one of the creators has done that. Um, smile rainbow deco composition, deco composition. Desert escape and a Polska, Polish folk art. Go away, Sophie, you're being very, very rude. Um, Karen Dio, uh, and then you've got a sampler. Okay, let's see if I can do this. There we go. 
So there is the cathedral. You've got a sampler, you've got the alphabet, and you've got the numbers below. All right. One moment, please. Sophie, get out. You're going to get a slap because you're being very rude. Uh, you've got these gorgeous pet of the month. Somebody has designed a hedgehog for them. Oops, sorry. Hedgehog for their pet hedgehog. Um, more pet ideas being Joe the hipster being a coo. The Peter Underhill terrier and Parrot Pal being a budgie. Um, as some other pet ideas. Detective Stitches. I like this one. This is really cool. The silhouettes with the grey kind of background. Um, Sherlock Holmes. Murder Mystery. Kind of looks like... Um... Oh, it's a seagull. I was kind of thinking it looked a bit like um, Toothless. But you can see the beak there and the wings. Uh, Private Keep Out with some keys and the lock. And Cinema Party on the clapperboard and Sheriff Billy. If you've got a kid in your life, you could do that on plastic. Um, so you've got all your different patterns there. You've got your bookmark, um, your notebook piece. But I like that silhouette. That's really cool. The, um, the shadowing and highlights are just really clever there. Film Noir it calls. It's a three inch mini canvas. All right. Oh, look at this. All right. This is kind of cool. This is Jenny Barton, and these are her designs. So you've got the dog, the, oh, I think it might be a dog or a cow. Um, you've got the, your detective, you've got your hands behind your bars, you've got film noir, you've got your sunglasses, binoculars, footprints, dad's book for the bookmark, the silhouette with the hat. Um, very um, detective-y. You've got your old cinema real camera. Um, your old whatever Ford English car. You know, big car. Who done it? Top secret. Your old Bakelite telephone. The sheriff. The, the glasses and the disguise with the nose and the moustache. Your little detective beagle. Warning with the skull and crossbones and agent mum. More silhouettes. You've got a hand print, uh, you've got your alphabet, you've got your keyhole, you've got a gun saying bang, happy birthday, murder mystery, you've got your burglar with the sack of goods, torch, uh, spyglass, safe and um, dynamite. And then the next month is um, bestie and honey kind of things. Very, very cool. I really like that collection. It was loads of different things that you could incorporate in if you have a budding detective. This is cute. Your welly boots, your watering can with the flowers in it. That's really cool. It's a cool idea actually to incorporate the flowers into old welly boots that you don't use. Your watering can, use them as planters. Just make sure that you drill the bottom so that it can drain. Um, really, really cool really cool um all your conversions are there as well it's designed by um stitched by ruth murphy i don't know who it's designed by though does it say designer is susan bates so if you see susan's work in the magazine look at this Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you the close of this one. Sorry. And this pattern there too. All right. Are you ready to feast your eyes on that? Okay. You've got cross stitch. You've got embroidery. You've got black work. Okay. Um, it's pinging all of my buttons being Irish and clover and or shamrock even. How gorgeous is that? So these are stitch satin stitches I think. It's 12 hours of work in that. It has cross stitch, back stitch, satin stitch, French knots and beads. So there's little pink beads and little silver beads. 
through there. You've got some silver um, floss as well. Um, that's stunning. Uh, new Techniques by Fabi Riley. So it's no Sophie. You have food on your table. I need you to stop. Second time. So it shows you how to do um, this. So it's stump work padded leaf. Okay, so you put down your little bits of felt. Um, you then stitch it down, you back stitch around it, then you start doing your satin stitch on top and then you trim it with the um, straight stitch down through the middle of the clover leaf. That's so cool and awesome techniques shows you the direction for your stitch for your sta satin stitch um so what it does um you follow the lines on the chart to fill the shape in with long straight stitches working from the center out um being careful not to pull too tightly and pucker the fabric and then you work so you work each section you you don't go across so it's showing you the distinctive difference between them all um, this is the world map, A Journey in Stitches by Fiona Baker. That's really cool. And I like the little touches with the, you know, the dragon or the fish and the compass on the outer edges. It's giant fish. Um, all kinds of cool, only maybe 10 colors in there. Seven and three quarters by 13 inches. So a four page. Um, and then we've got into the alphabet. Flying high is the alphabet, so birds. So we've got swallows. Oh, look at those. There are the swallows. Uh, Amanda Gregory has designed these. Not very big. Each of these, two to four hours each, depending on your stitching. Um, an all new edition of magazine. Sorry, I'm hearing birds going. What? Um, Lucy Heaton's favorite cross stitch designs, including furry tails, 132 pages of fantastic charts to treasure forever. Lucy Heaton cross stitch collection. If you like furry tails or Lucy Heaton's work, that would be a collection worth buying. Um, it's print one, it's 14 pounds, I think that would be well worth it, 10 pounds UK post and packaging, um, that's awesome. If you like her work, um, it's definitely a collector um, item. Look at the gown, pretty gown, if you have a graduate in your home or a debutante in your home or a prom. That would be a gorgeous gift to give them, especially if their dress was any way like this at all. Um, it shows the black. Now, just give me a second. The black is actually 413 with black, black in the very center. I think I would go almost a strand heavier so that less of that fabric shows through and it's more of a silhouette, but that's just me. Um, it would give you the more solid grey. It's not a stark black. It would give you a more solid grey. How cute is this? Okay. So this is a cutout here. No, it's not. Sorry, I'm wrong. It's linen. Um, but you have your edging <coughs> around it. You could portion it off and put magnetic... No, sorry, not magnetic. Um, whiteboard. On the bottom <coughs> or stick to your paper and pencil. The designer is Perry Abdul Hati and that is gorgeous. I love her cartoony kind of sketchy finish. It's really really cool. Um, very very nice that one and 3D in shape too. Um, I think that's awesome. And look, that whole design is over the two pages there. So you get plenty of detail. Like each of those boxes for your reading your symbols is huge. It's really, really good on this. 
and it's over three pages so again no scrimping on the size on this magazine um, prizes to be had if you send stuff in as well fun and games um, so kids toys kids games so you've got the fish train flowers monster uh, don't worry be happy use 11 count bin cap these could even be kids projects Oh, and it gets more. So you've got ice cream. This actually uses 11 count uh, Zweigart. You've got lion, rainbow, llama, spaceship. There's a whole heap of different things there. Um, Jerry is a reader. Um, and yeah, it's just a way to get your kids into stitching. Give them a project that's chunky. All right. Um, gives you back issues that you might want, your projects if you want to collect Lovecraft or any of those other items. Then you've got Out of This World, Amanda Riggs, Voyage into Space. You've got Piggy, Home Sweet Home, Rings My Bell, Hang On, Is Amanda. Stitching from the age of 12. One of the girls up in the International Space Lab actually took stitching up. I'm wondering if it's this one. Uh, she has YouTube. Um, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. Amanda's company stitched with love by us was born um, but she's done space missions okay right home sweet home Amanda created a bespoke home sweet home design featuring a house motif bold lettering and colorful border once the design was stitched and framed Heron Financial used a specialist company called Send to Space to send the design up, although her messages, her methods are firmly guarded secret. Um, the stitching piece is now in space. Why? Why, 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 why? Maybe she's not the space traveller. It was really interesting having the the Chiku went up um, talking about weight limits and you know everything was magnetic and her kit was really cool to see. It was really good. If you can find it or if I can get the link I will add it. Um, next month is different designs from Mexico. Ramadan and Aid greetings. Peter Rabbit. Then you get crossword or Sudoku. And then of course you get your extras at the back for patterns. Um, Villager Jim does some things here. John Clayton, Karen Carter, and Peter Underhill are the designers there. Okay, and hello. Um, I've just been going through my stuff, trying to tidy up after recording earlier. I found a missing magazine. So this will be an insert into the rest of the video. All right, this is the May edition. So if you're not interested in this particular edition, then just skip forward to the next chapter. Um, this freebie is what comes with it. Fantastic Fox kit, 14 count Ada, illustrated card, handy envelope, 26 strands. They're all very short though. Um, and look, this gorgeous fox silhouette is going to peek out from the card. That's all kinds of cute. Uh, it looks kind of like a sherry or designed design area. Fiona Baker has converted that kit. So, all right, let's take a look at what's inside in this edition. 
Okay, so we've got the card. We've got fairies. We've got prizes here. Um, polka dot letters, maybe? Meal times, pony, patch cottage. Don't be rude. Um, all right, Oops. fairy tales. We've got the surfer mouse. If you know anyone who likes their surfing, that would be one to get. Um, okay, our little fox is there. There you go. So you get the conversions for all the different flosses. Um, and then the chart is off down the bottom, tells you everything that's inside the kit and everything else. Spring is coming, so we've got our spring fairy with daffodils and all the spring flowers. Margaret Tarrant is the illustrator and author. She was born in 1888. She began her publishing career in 20, at age 20 and published into the early 1950s. Wow. Her artwork continues. So that's hers. How cool is that? Margaret Tarrant's fairies. So let me show you. There's her artwork. Oops. There is her original artwork. That's cool. Such a legacy. Um, converted by Fiona Baker, who is, I think, part of the magazine people. Okay, there's a Dorothy stitch here. That's kind of cool. Pina colada recipe, for like the chalkboard pina colada recipe. Uh, somebody else, Doctor's Cross Stitch. And it's got all kinds of things on a quilt. Um, cool. All right, I cross stitching. Oh, I'm cross stitching because, and you tick off the boxes. <laughs> There's hairs for home decor, uh, for a woodland theme somebody has other readers. What is this? Oh, skip to page. Okay, if you like a spring kind of series, City Break. It's all the wobbly. It's Michael Powell. I think you might have seen a lot of his artwork. He does kind of the wobbly buildings. So there's that. Letters. Dotty Delight is what this one's called. And this is the alphabet so, they're not really dots, they're more, well, okay, there's polka dots on each of the letters now that I'm seeing it. So, all the letters have little polka dots on them. That's probably about the only thing they've got in common. They're all that chunky alphabet. Um, it says for teens, tweens, and college kids. So, oops, there's the alphabet there, all kind of blocky, chunky, and numbers as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, more experty stuff. Um, show your stitches. Wishes granted. Somebody asked for a bat pattern and the designer did that for them. Very, very simple. Um, Request a design and our resident design expert, Jenny, might just chart it for you. So they're usually pretty small, the ones that they chart. All right, some Biscornu designs. There's a Biscornu calendar. High seas with fish and yachts. Um, Biscornu with peony flower and honeybee in orange, amber kind of honey color. There's some more bees. Bees and hives. If you have a resident apiarist, apiary, apiarist, don't know what the correct term would be. And you can frame it in a hoop. Um, there's a pony. Somebody has asked for a pet of the month. There's their pony. And there's the rendition that Jereen Jones has done. Ooh. Nana Bassett. That's kind of cool. It says Parrot, Bassett, 
and Tom there. The basket's cool. If you're a Pioneer Woman fan, you would know all about the, the Basset Hounds. Um, Viva Mexico. So what we're going to get in here is all the little designs that you can kind of put together. So you've got Tiquero, 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 I love you, uh, Sugar Skull, I don't know what that's supposed to say, it says happy birthday, oh Felice, Complenos, Complenos, um, happy birthday in Spanish, Aztec Geo there, Frida Kahlo, thinking of you, uh, Mexican Lace, Folk art. Uh, what else? We've got all kinds of banners and mandala kind of bits. Um, you've got Dear Felice Complanos. Complanos. Um, Vive Felice. Um, the geckos and the alphabet course is there as well. No, nope. don't ask. I'm recording. Go away. Go away. Go away. Meals and memories are made here. Self-raising flour and your weight and your cookie and your muffin and all that kind of stuff. Um, and of course you could do those as separates if you just wanted to add some touches. There is a baby greeting. Um, There is the thatch cottage. That is very, very busy. Called Paradise Found, designed by Carol Thornton. Very, very busy. Now, as I said before with these, the grids are really big. So it goes over three full pages. Uh, how to stitch French knots. So again, you get help. That was designed by Lynn, who no, Carol Thornton, hang on. Is it designed by Carol Thornton? But another designer has said that that has inspired them. Okay, time's gone by. They were on some past issues. I think there's other things that you can buy online on there. So you've got your heart, um, yellow hearts. All right, spring stuff. Keep growing, sunny days ahead, bloom where you're planted and you're blossoming. So things to encourage your kids. Flower power, that's by Cindy Young. You can make tags, maybe even for their school bags or books that they could keep with them, just to encourage them. Um, accessible stitching. Carrie Williams gives you an article on um, how to set up your stitch stitching station, what tools you could use to make it easier, all that kind of thing, and um, aids for somebody who maybe can't handle a scissors or anything like that anymore. There are other ways to get things that snip. Oh, these are cute. This is Susan Bates, beside the sea. So you've got your yachts in the harbor, you've got your little country kind of walled village. Um, gazebo and your beach scene with the chairs they are 80 by 80 square but you can fit them in a round hoop that's pretty much it is there another design at the back congrats on linen there if you've got a graduate of any kind um, and then shows what's upcoming in the next month, which is in the next clip. And then there's all the how-tos. If you ever get stuck, the how-tos are in the back. Crossword and Sudoku, just to keep you busy. And then these heritage crafts, just to tempt you with their deliciousness. They're all kinds of cute and awesome. All right, back to the June issue. And um, yeah. Check out what's in that magazine. All right, bye. Let's get the last one.
Sorry that there was more interruptions on this video than it's going to mean I did more editing, that's all. Oh, Country Companion. Oh my goodness, there's two, there's two, there's two. Oh my gosh. Uh, John Ed... Jo sorry. Brain. Join Ed Hedgehog in his blooming, wonderful card kit. There is a furry creatures. So you've got the card, you've got the colours. Doesn't say it's got a needle. And then Margaret Sherry, who does cute animals too. Margaret Sherry collection, 24 lengths of thread, Ada, needle, envelope, and chart. This one doesn't have a needle. Um, so there are your colors, your fabric, your card, and this one's got it all kind of hidden. And there's a page with the pattern as well inside there. How cool. I mean, those two alone are worth buying the magazine for, let alone anything else. But Wallace and Gromit look, and everything else that's here. I haven't gone through these magazines. You've seen me just literally open them. This is the June magazine. Okay, so if you have just jumped from the previous chapter, just straight to here, this is the June magazine, the world of cross stitching. Um, so I may have missed an issue um, from the news agency. That's why I'm now getting them kept for me so that I don't miss these issues because this is a really good magazine. Um, to get. I really like their designs. It's immediate media as well. Um, there's some guests. Okay. Our furry friends. There's the mouse. Little cowboy girl with the hat and the skirt. Looking all kinds of cool. Alright. Uh, we also have a country companion kit with um, Ed Hedgehog. It is eight hours of stitching in there they reckon. 25 lengths of cotton floss. It is 42 by 35. Okay. Be a lot of confetti and a lot of back stitching. Wallace and Gromit by Ardman Studios. This is inspired by Ardman Animations. I'm looking for the designer. But look, the wallpaper. You've got very funky stitches, but they are all just cross stitches. It's just the way it looks. That is so cool. Illustrated converted by Fiona Baker. Okay, the detail is awesome. It shows you how to back stitch as well, um, if you're not used to back stitching. Okay, um, some more just magazine kind of stuff. There. Some bears from, looks like Bothy. Yep, Bothy. The mum and baby. Um, other stitching works. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Alright. Recipe for a happy holiday. Two cups of family time. Two cups of really close friends. One cup of relaxation. A full barrel of laughter, love and warmth. A full spoon of shared good memories. Combine family time with really close friends. Mix thoroughly with laughter. Sweeten with love, warmth as needed. Flavour with shared good memories, stir well over a nice warm home cooked hearty meal and remove any smartphones or stress over past and future worries. Bake an oven until the season is over. Sprinkle with generosity and lots of giving. Serve and enjoy. How cool is that? Tiny, tiny font. The designer is Perry uh, Hattie. So she's changed her name in this issue. She's shortened it for the people who can't get over the middle name. Anyway, really cool cool and sketchy in her finish all right so it shows all the font you could change them even if you wanted to you could work out whatever sentences you needed to do um, look at this now if you have dogs look at these elite designs have created a dog design so you've got your spaniel your dalmatian your lab your border collie in your chocolate border and your yorkshire terrier how cool Oh, it actually says how to avoid trailing threads. Ooh, let me give you this tip. Okay, so I need to block off these designs because I'm going to show you this. All right. To avoid trailing threads, so you've got your letters back here. And you know how you go from one letter to another and you can see through the ADA. 
it's actually suggesting that you get iron on interfacing on the back of the Ada fabric and you put the needle through both you do your trail and you bring it back and that extra bit of material is enough to hide the Ada showing through the fabric the cotton behind that's genius and something that you might not have necessarily thought of and with a pattern like this that shows so much writing backing it with a piece of anything and the waste fabric is fine you know it's just something to hide that thread that you're carrying through it just gives it a gorgeous crisp finish i have seen people and you can see the little line at the bottom you know going across to the next word or things like that that's a really really clever way of disguising your background stitching so that's cool i'm, I'm quite impressed that they even give you that all right planning around we've got numbers and letters for that if you do not like clowns then you know look away now this is by susan bates it's all the clowns on the letters all doing different tips tricks Ooh, that that way okay so all doing different things um, with balloons, with umbrellas, you know, just being clowns. Um, letters and numbers. Um, all right. Looking for a bear hug, Forever Friends. Love Forever Friends. They're so cool. Um, blooming alphabet, floral alphabet sampler. I've got an Australian alphabet sampler. It's gorgeous. I haven't got around to starting it yet. I think I've got the kit. Um... So it's got everything in it. And John Clayton. Um, sorry. The pattern there. Look at that dress. And I showed you on a previous magazine flip through this other blue dress. If you, again, if you've got a graduate, a debutante, a prom, and you want to memorialise their wedding dress, John Clayton may have a dress similar to what they're wearing. And you could design it or stitch it yourself for your child to be... Um, remembered in their gown that's cool all right heaven sent do you like sweet peas i love sweet peas i think they're gorgeous um, and they are so good for cuttings um, so a three page spread um, for your design the squares are huge like really really big really generous on the design so if you have any eyesight issues this is not going to give you any of that issue okay um just more advertising the advertising that you know the magazines that they do if you're into any other hobbies as well uh let's rock music festivals and music-y kind of summer stuff so you've got the band the drummer festival fever the busker with the kind of guitar the music around the drink sunnies have fun this is all these little things music player that's kind of cool. Little um, keyring tag. That's cool. All right, it just reminded me actually to um, go and get my washing out of the machine. Um, some more summer stuff. So you've got some boots. They look like here. Oh, no. Here. They look like welly boots or socks. Welly boots, I think. Um, tent. Ice creams. Your music with the crotchets and quavers all over it loads of festival stuff there so you've got your um caravan you've got your um c and d um anti-nuclear symbol there oh gosh it just keeps going all the summary stuff alphabet um oops wrong direction and your v-dub van camper all kinds of cool all right, um, Alyssa Westhook, you get to, oh, she's Stitchinomi. Yes, I thought I recognized this, the um, plants. So she is from Stitchinomi. I do get their emails on their stitch alongs. All right, witch in training, wizard in training. I'm a little bit magic stitch for the kids. It's Alyssa Westhook, so she's designed those from Stitchinomi. And they've got castles and things behind them and you've got a page each for each of those designs and the details are just really cool um 
how to use metallic thread. So what they actually recommend is that you lock off that stitch on the needle. So you loop it through, you pop your needle through, it locks off the thread so it doesn't move in the eye and you just go for it. Clever idea. And again, you just snip it off then when you're done. All right. Um, happy Father's Day. So US Father's Day there. Love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day behind. Um, a way to do the um, stitches for cluster blocks shows you how to do those. So you actually snip away the inside where that you're not using on your linen. That could be scary if you're not used to doing anything like that. Um, hoopla. Hoops are a stylish way to finish your work. Hoop butts actually put a block of wood into the back of your hoop as a smooth finish. That's a nice idea. If you don't like doing the threading or anything else, there are many, many ways that you can finish off your work. I really like that. But a wooden round that you sit into the back of your work, that's cool. Really like that. Um, hoop butts. They are from Kate J. Blandford's S um, Etsy store and it neatens up your stitching. Um, there are some people who will do the um, spirograph kind of spiral stitching that goes back and forth and it ends up twisting into like a circle in the middle if you like showing your work. Um, but that's really cool. If you like hiding the backs, then do that. Beach wedding, congratulations. Congratulations on your beach wedding. Just married. Wedding wishes, happily ever after. This is the kind of thing that I could have got my son. He had a beach wedding with the arch on a balcony. Um, save the date with the frangipani. You are invited with the lay flowers. Cool. Summer Meadow. This is on linen. It's Pity Point. Not... Fractional stitches on linen. And she's a much nicer face than one of the other. There was a girl on a swing that they did in one issue and her face just didn't quite work. It was really weird. 13 issues of gardens. Hmm. Advertising. Um, where are we going now? Ooh. Um, what is this? This is by Kay Whittison, King of the River. Not a kingfisher. Heron. A blue heron and the kind of clock flowers. Cool. And there's the picture. Let me just block the pattern off. There's the picture it came from. So that's what inspired cross stitch. Um, Molly Makes also includes knitting stuff. Um, you can get back issues. Um, editors have been, sorry, they've been asked for design my dog and the designer has then created the dog. Doreen Jones has done that. So there is Doreen with her high heavy bang. Not many people carry off those bangs these days. Um, so there's that. Then we've got some fruit. Next month we get fruit. We get this Anne Stokes dragon. I have been hanging out to get this bloody dragon and I haven't seen it yet in Australia. A little bit frustrating. It's on the front cover if you're interested. It was the May issue. There you go. Cross stitching, World of Cross Stitching magazine. So again, those will be chapterized on my video and if you're interested, you can go for one timestamp or the other timestamp and you can jump to the two of them. Um, so it's the March issue and the June issue and I'm kicking myself if I have missed the Anne Stokes magazine. We, they come on a slow boat from China, to be honest. A slow boat, probably from the UK, to be honest. Um, where is it? I might have to just go online and get it though, but um, Anne Stokes Dragon um, in yeah, see it says it's on sale May, but it's got to be the July issue um, and the gifts of the cards 
with lots of other things. Yeah. Still haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, these are effectively a month or two behind. So hopefully I've caught it in time with my news agents. Um, and they'll keep them for me. But there are some really, really cute signs in these too. So I hope you've enjoyed them. I will let you go. Get on with editing these videos and um, upload them. And I will see you around on the tubes. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.